Hello there, Master Hellish here, and welcome back to my Rail Route tutorial series. Now, this video builds on previous videos in the series, and I highly recommend you at least have a look at the All the Basics video first, and the link to the playlist for that tutorial series is in the video description. But today we're going to be taking a look at the timetable mode. So if we go over to maps and switch to timetable, you can see we've got a wide variety of maps to choose from in the timetable route. Now I'll explain what timetable is and how to do it, but uh, let's pick one of these to play with. Uh, this one down here should be pretty straightforward. I've not done it before. So I'm going to click play and new. And it'll say, it says about 17 minutes, and we're going to have, I think, eight trains. It's one of the easier ones, so it's probably a good one to start with. And I'll click New Game, and then we'll talk about what we need to do. So we're in our game, and I've just paused it to give us some time to talk about what we're going to do. I'm going to work my way around the screen, explain a couple of things, and then we'll crack on with actually doing the dispatching. At the top, we have our score. Now, in unlike in other modes, our score is done differently here. So in uh, Endless, our score is based on how good each cycle is. And in the Rush Hour, our score is based on how quickly we do things. Here it's based on how well we do things. Whether any of our trains are late, on the wrong platform, etc. Um, we can actually take uh, as much time as we like by pausing the game in this game mode. And just sit back, we could have a cup of tea, just and look at it, and your score wouldn't change. Now, also at the top here, we have a number. This is the number of trains that we have to deal with in this particular timetable to then get our score. Top right is our menu as normal, and in the bottom left, we don't have our system upgrades like we would have in Endless, and we don't have our construction options like we would have in Endless or in Rush Hour. In this one, we only have the contracts. We'll have a look at them a bit more in a minute. Across the bottom, we have our different controls that change depending on what we've got selected and our timer. I've already paused the game. It's nice and paused there, and you can see it's not moving. So, what do we have to do? Well, we'll have to dispatch trains along this particular little network that we've got here, and we'll have to do it in a very nice and efficient manner. But we can't change the network. We can't add and remove track. We can't change signals. So we have to work with what we've got to efficiently execute this timetable. Now, before I start that timer again, I'm going to have a look at what trains are coming up and try and think ahead a little bit. So let's open up the contracts and see what we've got here. And we can see that we've got quite a few different uh, trains here. And there's a dash next to next on this one. I assume that's because this was the one that's about to arrive. And then we've got various down here. Let's order it by that um, option. And you can see that we've got a train at 802, 803. In fact, we've got three trains at 803, 5 and 6. So there's a lot of trains that are, are going to be arriving very quickly on the network. And these are the stations they're coming from. And pretty much all of them are going through this middle station here and to another place. Hmm. Okay. I think this 803 section is going to be probably one of the worst. Um, there's a freight train there that's going straight across. And a second freight train there that's going straight across. But probably, yeah, it looks like in the other direction. So that's going to be interesting. Two freight trains arriving at the same time going in opposite directions to and from the same stations. Okay, I've got that in mind. Let's close that now and give it a go. So the icon here next to the station tells me that we've got a train wanting to come onto the platform. It's got a countdown which is paused at the moment because our game is paused. And if we hover over it, it tells us what train it is and it gives us some information about that. Which stations it wants to go to as well as the platforms. And the stations are nicely colour coded as are the trains. So I can see here that we're going to be coming onto Platform 2 and we need to go all the way across uh, over to Aretnak and Platform 4. And that should be relatively straightforward. We can just come out here, go down on Platform 4. Fair enough. Let's get that train going. I'm going to unpause the game and tell the train to come onto the platform. Nice. Now, there it is. Now, it's saying here we've got tra train requires signalling and attention. Yes. Uh, the train does require some signaling. What we're going to do is we're going to say for this train, I'd like you to go into that signal block first, and then I'm going to right click just to cancel. So in this particular map, we've got a lot of auto signals, so we don't actually have to worry about swapping any of the switches around. That is something uh, that will be done automatically when we do some routing. It swaps the signal, uh, the switches around. So if we have a closer look up here and we turn those switches away from where it needs to be, 
and we use the auto signal to go straight along the line you can see it swaps those switches over automatically so we're just going to be using those auto uh, auto signals now that trains quite happy there at the moment let's see what's next uh, what's next is 802 we've got uh, a train that's going to be going from Millsbird and back again okay let's go and have a look at that so it's going to be coming from over here and across in fact there it is arriving at platform 3 now let's get that on platform 3 and he wants to go up to platform 1 I don't really foresee that being a problem I'll dispatch it forward into this auto block these double dash sections here or dashed sections or auto blocks um, there is only one set of auto blocks on this map and it's a section of track where trains can automatically move through sometimes you can have loads of sections and sometimes it's just one and each section can have a train in it it's kind of like a, a hidden extension okay so we've got these two trains on our network and things so far are going okay let's now route both of these trains up to the platforms that they requested there we go we should be all right we should be all right let's fast forward a little bit and i'm going to pause now because we have three trains all wanting to arrive at once this is those three trains on the timetable here that i said oh they're all at three minutes past uh, we've got 20 points so far that's good isn't it uh, so we've got a train here that wants to come from platform one of docks and we've got a train over here that wants to go to platform two of docks i think we might be able to do that let's get the freight train coming here now it says and you can see in the information here it says it's passing that means it's going to immediately leave the station this one here doesn't leave the station yet not until 806 so you know what i'm going to cancel its routing and i'm going to allow our freight train to come down there first brilliant let's get the freight train on the other side in now this one isn't passing this one's going to be at the station until 808 and then it will be passing at the other end so at the oh hang on a minute these ones aren't auto signals i didn't spot that gonna have to keep an eye out for this so we're gonna have to do some manual switching here when it comes down to it Ooh, sneaky whoever made this map um and then we've got another train over here this is a uh, a regional train and it wants to go to platform six so in theory that one's going to be okay as well right let's unpause. oh hang on wait a minute stop this train has indeed already said it's going to leave the station hmm I'm not 100% sure on the best way of doing this because we've got two trains that want to enter this block at the same time. Hmm, what's the best way to do this? I think what we'll do is we'll cancel this one and we'll allow uh, both trains to move forward into those auto blocks and then we'll deal with it later. <laughs> In fact, uh, if we... Oh, should we swap them over? Yeah, let's swap them over now. So I'm going to have the commuter train come up and over. And as soon as that commuter train's out of the way, the freight train is going to come down into this auto block. Nice. That should be okay. Right. Let's unpause. And I'm going to go to five times speed in a minute. This train needs to go up to platform six. That's going to be... Oh, down to platform six over there. So that one's going to one, platform six. Uh, there we go. Off it goes. This one has stopped for a couple of moments. We're going to need to route it forward. So the switch is actually okay already. Let's get that train allowed up to there. And we do have a, the other freight train currently waiting for the commuter train. That's fine as well. So you can see that I'm just activating the various different signals in different ways to allow the trains to go where they need to go. Now, this commuter train is going to want to turn around. So let's turn that around. And this one wants to go down to platform 6 now, so we'll uh, let that route to there. We've got a new train that wants to arrive onto platform 3. We'll get that uh, dispatched in. This commuter train wants to go up to platform 1, so I'm going to allow that to go up to platform 1. You see how I'm just working my way around, trying to figure things out. This train is... Uh, is it going to leave right away? No, it's not going to leave right away, but it's going to head for platform 2 might have to put it in behind this commuter train here on this auto section uh, on the auto block but so far we're okay the only problem is now is that this freight train and this freight train need to cross over somehow and i have no idea how i'm going to do that 
which platform is this freight train going to? This freight train here uh, is going to platform 2. And its expected arrival is... Uh, click on the freight train. Freight, have we got the right freight train there? Uh, is 808. And Hang on a second, let's pause. There's too much going on. And down here, this freight train is expected to leave at... Um, at 808 as well. Okay, if that freight train is expected to leave at 808 and this freight train is expected to arrive by 808, then let's get it straight in. Okay, I'm going to cancel this signal, swap that switch over, and allow the freight train priority access. Because I think it should be on its way. Good. Let's get this train onto the platform and carry on. I'm going at five times speed now. Uh, this train's about to leave the station. We need to make room for the freight train. So, again, the commuter train here, looking for platform two. I'm going to put it up into that auto block. Nice. And this one um, is looking for platform five. So, again, we'll bring it down into this section of track. Right, we're going to need a load of trains crossing over here soon. This this junction's going to get very busy. Okay. So what we're going to do next is uh, this one here. What is it? It's going to go over to platform one. It's expected there. Uh, it's leaving at 8.09. This one's leaving... Hang on. Is it leaving at 8.09? Leaving at 8.07. This one's leaving at 8.11. And that one's 8.06. That one wants to leave first, I think. So seven, yeah. Okay, this train's going to be leaving pretty soon. Let's uh, continue. This freight train's probably going to be one of the uh, the worst parts of this whole thing. Oh, I think we might have just had that train uh, being dispatched onto the station a bit late. This one wants to go to platform three. Oh, it's going to have to wait. We're too busy at the moment. And I want to leave room for the freight, the other freight train to come through. Uh, what's it? It's leaving at um, 8.08. Mm, yeah, yeah, we're going to have to leave some time for that one, I'm afraid. So that train's going to have to wait for a couple of moments. Uh, the freight train's through and out the way. Good. That train's going into platform two, so we'll let it go into platform two. Oh, this one wants to come out. Brilliant. Okay, pause. So, uh, over to platform one. That's not a problem. This one can go forward into the auto block as soon as it's available. Okay, let's carry on. Uh, that one's leaving at 8.11. You want to go into platform five. You can go straight into platform five. You're happy there. You're leaving at 8.10. You're leaving at 8.11. So, oh, our freight train. Our freight train wants to leave. Okay, switch the switch and do this signal. We have to switch that switch because it's not an auto signal. Uh, and we'll let that train leave. And we've got quite a few different trains that want to go to different places now. So we've got a train waiting here for platform three. I'm going to allow that straight away. And we now have uh, about four or five trains wanting to leave this station. <laughs> oh, God, this is busy. Okay. Right. First of all, we've got a, the commuter train wanting to go up to platform one. Uh, that should use the top branch. The freight train we're going to route through the bottom, as that's going to come passing through now. Uh, then this one is going to leave at 8.12. So 8.10, 8.12, 8.12. We've got two trains leaving at 8.12. And that one wants to go platform three, so we've put that straight through. You want to go platform one, you can go straight off to platform one. Nice. Uh, overall, I think we're okay. Yep. All right. Now, we've got a train leaving here at the bottom of the screen. Wanted to go uh, out, down, through here. Again, that's not a problem. And we've got a platform three and a platform two. So, these two are the wrong way around. And that one wants to go over to platform one as well. So, we should be able... Platform, platform three... So you come down into that auto block. You go up into that auto block when you're ready. There we go. We're just filtering all the trains through to where they need to go. Trying to make sure that none of them are going to be getting delayed or having to wait behind other trains. 
And that is us pretty much done now uh, for this particular run. I'm going to speed it up 25 times speed and do the final click for the final train. One train to go, and there we go. There is a run of timetable mode, and you can see we got a score of 220. Smack on, good job, 100% score, wow. But that was a particularly easy one. And then we can go back to the main menu and restart. We actually got no penalizations. Maybe that's a bad demonstration. Maybe I should have showed you going things go wrong. But that is the simplicity of this game mode. All you've got to do is root the stuff that's coming at you. You don't have to worry about any buildings, uh, of any lines, of, of any switches. Uh, you don't have to do any of that construction. You don't have to worry about uh, getting new contracts and uh, arranging them within a timetable. You just have a timetable and you've got to run it nicely. And run it nicely is what I did there. But that is going to be all for this particular one. It's a straightforward game mode, a lot of fun, highly recommend you check it out. Now at the time of recording, still I've got new videos coming out on this tutorial series, so get subscribed so you get notifications of more. If you found this one useful, please give it a like, and leave all your thoughts, ideas, and of course questions down in the comments section, and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching, take care, and for now, goodbye.